We're talking with Mississippi College head coach John Bland as we look ahead to this week's game at West Alabama. But first of all, coach, let's go back to the West Georgia game last weekend. I know a disappointing outcome for you. Your team came ready to play and West Georgia gave you some opportunities and you gotta be happy with the way that the team took advantage of those early opportunities in that first quarter. No doubt, that's one of our goals right there. And it's uh, when a break comes our way, score, and we did that. And uh, got out there 21 to seven. Then at the end of the half, you know, we had another opportunity. We got down there close, and we got down to about the 12-yard line, but there was a penalty, one of those penalties that hurt us. Uh, we had one that hurt us on a special team later on, or a couple of them, and, and one on defense when we had a penalty on fourth and two for them. So all those things kind of add up. We were going into that ball game. You know, if we looked at those statistics, we were in number four in the nation on least penalized team in the nation, number four out of all the Division II teams, which is really good. And we still weren't penalized very much now. There was eight penalties, but there were some flags that were picked up. We had a targeting call, which was later seen. Uh, in Division Two. you kind of wait to halftime, but he didn't touch him, which is kind of odd. But uh, that hurt us, you know, when you take players off out of the game and, uh, and uh, took our, one of our starters out of the game when he didn't do the, actually have a penalty. But he did get able to come back in. So uh, those type of things are – you know, something we've taken pride in this year and, and not being penalized, but we had a few that might have hurt us a little bit. Yeah, and again, that hasn't been something that's been a, a problem for teams that you've coached during your time here at Mississippi College, and that's due to coaching and players paying attention to those kinds of things. But every once in a while it does happen. I think it just goes to show you that every, every week you're playing such good quality opponents that those kind of mistakes can, can cost you in the ball game. They can, and it was tight. I know that uh, West Georgia played, played really good. Uh, they've got a talented team. But I feel like we didn't play our best uh, there in the second half, especially in the, in the first half. I think we had some opportunities there in the second half to stay in the ball game. It was going to be tight, but uh, um, you know I think we uh, we'll, we'll learn from that, and hopefully we'll face the adversity again when we do. Uh, we'll uh, be able to overcome it. You know, there were a couple of individual good performances. Dietrich had one of his best running games as a, as a quarterback, but I thought West Georgia did a pretty good job at defending against what you were trying to do and took a lot of the between the tackles running away. It did, and I think uh, their, the defensive alignment that they showed, we were ready for, and we were able to uh, you know, have some success. We had almost 300 yards of offense, and it felt like we didn't have that much at all, but you turn around, you see we didn't move the ball. We, we didn't make some first downs. I think we could have. I think we might could have adjusted a little bit and, and uh, accounted for the middle linebacker a little more. Uh, he made a lot of plays there in the second half. And uh, there's two guys there, and they, we, they freed them up. There was by covering up our offensive linemen. So we had a chance, our chances, but uh, I, I feel like they played well, you know, on, on defense. And uh, our guys did play well, but just not, not good enough. You know, on special teams, I thought it was a pretty good ball game for your team. Uh, you had those fumble recoveries in yes. the first quarter. Your, your players covered well. Drake had one of his best punts of the season last week. So that was a real highlight for this ball game. It was. There was some, some awareness that uh, you hope your guys have. Well, when the ball rolls up there and touches one of their guys in the leg, it's very tough to do that on defense or, or on punt return and punt. And we, we took advantage of that. We also uh, punched two balls out their return game. One we got, one they recovered again, and then we end up having a face mask on that same play. And, and so uh, we were able to do some good things, but also we had a block below the waist. We had a face mask on, on special teams as well. So a couple things that hurt us. But uh, we're continuing to get better and better in a lot of those areas. And I think that's uh, been a, a testament to those guys and just continue to work, continuing to, to pay attention, but also work and, and practice to be, be the best they can be. We got a tough road test against West Alabama. This is a team that's kind of been up and down this season, but they've got a pretty stout defense coming in. And you saw oh, that, what they did to the Choctaws last year, holding MC to just three points. Yes. So how do you attack this defense this season? Well, same thing is we get, it's all about blocking. And, and you've talked about the whole game, blocking, tackling, and, and hanging on to the football and on defense, creating turnovers on offense, though we've got to block. And uh, that's what we've been doing better than we have in the past. And I think that we're running the ball extremely well. We're hanging on to the football. So if we can continue to do those things, I know they're going to try to free up their linebackers. They're really fast. Uh, their secondary reacts really good. They will come up for the run, but they'll also turn and cover on the pass. So they've got a lot of good football players on both sides of the ball. But, we, but to, to score more points, though, we're going to have to block them and we're going to have to make big plays when they're there. So. Uh, that's, our, that's our goal, and our players are ready for that challenge. 
Well, it, with the loss last week, probably knocks the playoffs out of any kind of playoff consideration. Although that was certainly something I think to, you know, we were talking about that with several people last week, how amazing that would have been if, if, if who knows what would have happened, but that would have been for this program sure. to, to be in that position at the end of the year. Uh, is that something that you would t uh, talk with the coaches or players about at all, that that was a possibility? How did they kind of react after the loss last week? Well, obviously that's, that's difficult. When you, when you look into the playoffs, something we haven't done in a long time and hadn't even been in, been in the talk of competing for the playoffs was exciting, and it still is, you know, to be honest with you. We're, we're, we keep con, uh, counting uh, the All, Alcorn State game, which is really not something that Division Two in the regional rankings don't include that. So when we say we're four and four, we're really four and three, and so we're very similar to, that's one of the reasons we were above those two uh, last week. So we just need to finish strong. If we, if we finish with a, and our goal is to win this week, okay, win West Alabama. And if we do that, well, our goal will be to win against Delta State. If that's the case, um, I wouldn't say that the playoffs are out of contention. It is a possibility. It is a long shot, but it is a, a chance because the way the regions are set up, there's four teams that make the regional rankings, four teams in each region, which will account for 16 teams. There's three other teams that make the regional, but not the regional rankings. And three other teams could be, they will, they will be deserving, but they also might have something to do with how close they may travel. So if they have to fly someone somewhere to play in that in those bottom five, six, and seven, they may choose a team that will, can bust and cost the NCAA a little less. And that's always something we're, we're for saving money, that's what we need to do too. So there's a chance, and uh, not that we will get in and be undeserving, but if we win our next two games, we'll give them something to think about, and that's what all these levels of football that have playoffs, that's what they want to do. They want to be in the conversation, and, and uh, I feel like if we do win those two, we'll be in the conversation for sure. And that's all we're asking for. But we're, but we're going to take it one game at a time. we got two left in the regular season. We'll see what happens. And there'll be two good performances, we know. And if you get those two wins, that's a record above 500, and that's one more step forward for this program. No doubt. It's, uh, you know, it's been very tough, and you know, not because of the transition. We all know that has been difficult because of just getting the talent level and the guys in this, on this team that can compete and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the rest in the Gulf South Conference, but it's also a very difficult conference. You know, you can be a real good football team and, and not win, as, as we've proven this year. There's been good teams like West Georgia has lost uh, and so, you, you know, it, it's a challenge each and every week. You can't, there's not a, um, an easy road and there's not, a, it's a, like the SEC of Division II. And that's, I've said that before and, and that is uh, exactly what it is. Well, Coach, again, we appreciate your time. Wish you good luck in the game against West Alabama this week. Thank you, Reed.